Let's move on to talk about energy. Worst performing sector over the past year. RBC thinks there's a bright spot in the oil patch. They upgrade shares of Marathon Oil today to outperform. We've made it our call of the day. All right, price target goes only up a buck, 23 from 22. Um, outperform from sector perform. Industry leading free cash flow yields, they say. What do we think on, on Marathon, MRO? It's one of the big plays in the Eagle Ford. Um, so if you're talking shale, this is one of those big, you know, guys, EOG and these guys, very big in that. Um, and it, I, I don't want to make the mistake, slip into it and say it's an instant on with some of these uh, wells. Uh, but nonetheless, they can bring on a lot of supply, Judge, if we indeed see these higher prices, 62, then 64. And as we push higher, that's just manna from heaven for these guys. Okay, let me ask you this. Obviously, nobody owns the stock on the desk. That seems pretty apparent. I own the... calls. Oh, you own yeah. calls? Yep, yep. And how, when have you owned those? I, bu I bought them a couple of weeks ago. We had some unusual activity okay. in there. And I, what I like, Scott, is these are great opportunities. I was looking through my positions earlier, and we were talking about energy. 14 of my 73 <laughs> positions right now that I've got on are in energy. This is one of those names. It's calls. They're inexpensive. I also have the, uh, the MPC as well, so marathon exposure on both sides of this whole thing. But... I think they're talking about efficiency here. That's what they're talking about because when you look at how they're pumping and had less wells being pumped and yet they were getting 7% more out of what they were doing. So the efficiencies that they're getting, that's part of this whole story, free cash flow, all of that is why people are excited. This particular uh, analyst today is so excited about this. I'd be excited as well because the stock has done nothing. No, the stock I was going to say that. So year to date, I'm sorry, Steph, hold on. Year to, year to date, it's, uh, to your point, it's up 20% over the last six months. It's down 19. Yeah, well, like every energy stock is the same. So, but I think it, Marathon is very levered to the commodity price. So if you think that the, that the rally in crude has legs, or at least it just stays here, these guys should actually do quite well. The thing is, though, it's, it's not cheap, and it only yields 1.2%. I mean, you could almost get a 4% yield at Chevron or Exxon at this point. So, I mean, it really depends on if you want that beta or that leverage um, to the commodity or if you want to be more, a little bit more defensive. I have a barbell. I mean, I have well, Anadarko, I have, I have Concho, I have EOG, which is a little more beta, and I still have my Chevron position, and I'm kind of comfortable doing it that way. I've got a question for you, Pete, from a yeah. viewer, actually, on a stock that you own. Sure. It's from David in Michigan. David, thanks for the question, and it's timely. Uh, uh, Halliburton. Yep. What do you do heading into earnings? Uh, he wants to know if you sell it into earnings or hold out and wait with some of the uncertainty in the oil market. That's one of those where we, we that, I got into that one as well, like so many other ones, where the unusual activity got my attention. But instead of buying the calls, I actually bought the stock because I like the fundamental story. This is one of the biggies. We talk about Schlumberger, we talk about Halliburton. These are the biggies in that area. And because of that, I like the stock. I think it's relatively inexpensive. And I can sell calls against there to bring in some premium, Scott. So I'm going to continue to do that. So no, I'm not going to just exit out because I'm worried about earnings. I'm not worried so much about the earnings. Surat, you've been building positions in big names? We have actually barbell strategies, same as Steph. I mean, we own Chevron and Royal Dutch. And then on the other side is the Apache, EOG, and Pioneer. But just nibbling in there because I think if you get where you're talking about the economy stabilizing, this is going to be a sector that's really going to do well.